Hello guys and uh, welcome back to a short DIY analog synthesizer uh, video. Now this is just a quick share. I'm going to be doing tutorials, um, a tutorial on this probably at some point in the new year to be honest with you. Busy time of the year and all that nonsense. Anyway, so what we've got here is my second um, approach at a Arduino MIDI to CV. Um, circuit. So what we have here is our Arduino over here. We just got a breadboard. Now this one uses a different type of DAC. It's still again it's a 12-bit DAC, but this one is a different version. Uh, what I will try and do is post a link to the schematic in the video. And on this one, what this um, circuit gives you is MIDI. MIDI to CV gate obviously so you get the gate signal out you get a control voltage which you can actually scale to about 7 point I think it's about 7.25 volts ish so you get about 7 about 6 to 7 octaves uh, you also get a velocity out on this one and you'll get a clock and a trigger and a control as well I'm not quite sure what the control is I'm guessing that may be MIDI control so you can actually assign it to a, a control change parameter and and use that to uh yeah have some fun with right so basically um what i have going at the moment is i just have the midi and cv gates going at the moment um <coughs> excuse me so basically what i had a problem with was the velocity because i thought the velocity was going to be quite useful try to kind of just basically tap it into the control voltage of the VCA and it didn't quite work so I had to try a different approach so basically I'm using the LM13700 as the OTA substitute for the CA3080 which is used in the Oberheim SEM and basically I've used the dual um, used the other side of it so we have two control voltages um, powering or should I say controlling the um, current controlling the uh, the both VCA so one VCA accepts the velocity and the second one accepts the envelope out so yeah basically that, that's how I've got it I'm still trying to sort of tinker with it at the moment fine tune it but like I said I'm going to try and do some tutorials on it very very soon excuse the shadow in a minute anyway here's a here's a small sequence that I put together um, in Cubase, as you can see, we've kind of varied the velocities. I'm not doing a direct audio on this one, so I'm not quite sure how well you're going to actually hear the difference through. So let's just take the drums out. And as you can see, the velocity range there. Where's my mouse gone? So if I just take that one down. I'm going to vary the velocities there. And that is basically it. So I think uh, what it is the velocity out the velocity out from this uh, circuit outputs zero to about four and a half volts. So I've tried uh, the, the, I've tried to measure it with a with a with a meter, and I think when you get down to about thirty, the velocity you take it down to about thirty. Anything after or below thirty, it, the the uh, control voltage jumps to about 11 sort of like hits the uh, power out but anyway that's something I've got to talk about when I'm doing the tutorial anyway uh, to everyone who's uh, supporting the channel and to all you newcomers a Merry Christmas and I'll catch you guys very very soon take it nice and easy bye